Good morning all. This is Swapna. Welcome to Machine Learning Video. Today's our topic is Instance Based Learning. In that we are giving first introduction advantages disadvantages. Instance Based Learning methods are such as nearest neighbor, locally weighted regression, uh, that type of me learning methods we can call as the instance based learning. These are conceptually straightforward approaches and these can approximate the real valued or discrete valued target functions also. And sometimes these instance based learning also called the lazy learning. Mainly this uses the memorizing technique. In this, the learning method used in these algorithms is memorizing technique. What is the memorizing technique? Means simply storing the data. Memorizing the technique means simply storing the data and retrieving the data and uh, whatever the stored data is there, retrieving the data to use reusing that analyzation purpose. That we can call as a memorizing technique. So these learning algorithms simply stores the training data. Whatever you are presented to that. Uh, algorithm that data completed the training data it stores that data. whenever the new instance or new query instance encountered it retrieves the uh, it retrieves the similar related instances which are already stored in main memory that retrieves sorry that retrieves that one and use it to classify the new query that means Whenever the new instance or new query comes or encountered, it search for the similarly related in instances which are stored in memory whenever you are given as a training data to the, when, uh, to the memory. It, uh, it uh, searches for that and it retrieves that one from that it, uh, it you from that and it uses that uh, related or retrieved data to classify the new query instances. So what is the technique it is using generally means I said already memorizing technique that means why it stores the data whenever it um, encounters after that it memorizes that one retrieves means it memorizes that one. So these instance based learning can be achieved by the three approaches. First approach is lazy learning. That lazy learning once again we can call as a nearest neighboring technique it uses or k nearest neighboring techniques it uses. Second type of approach to um, achieve the instance based learning is radial basis function. It is generally based on the weighted methods. Third type of approach is case based reasoning. These are the three approaches mainly used in instance based learning to achieve that one. Instance based approaches can construct the different approximation to the target functions for each different query instance. It, mm, for large instances, it generally assigns the locally target for each new instance. And now we are going to know about the, what are the advantages of the instance based type of methods. In instance based methods, we can solve the more complex methods and symbolic representations we can use for instances also. In case based re learning instances represented in this fashion, case based learning instances are represented in here in the instance based learning represented in the point of uh, like the points and uh, it uses the neighboring technique neighboring technique so whatever the case based reasoning is there here it applies as a storing and reusing the past experience whenever it requires um, next what are the main disadvantages Cost of classifying the new instance is very high and techniques for efficiently indexing the training examples are a significant practical issue in reducing the competition required at query time. So here in instance based learning whenever you are classifying the new instance cost is very high that is the first disadvantage. What is the second disadvantage is there are no enough or efficient techniques are there to index the training examples which are stored in main memory. That only we are using to classify the new instance. So efficient index techniques are not there. That way, that means uh, that is the practical issue. And whenever it uses the neighboring technique, neighboring technique to classify the new instance, uh, it uh, generally it considers the all the attributes of the instances uh, to retrieve the similar training examples. 
बट इट इज ए नॉट एफिशियंट मेथड बिकॉज ऑल एट्रीब्यूट आर नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट सम एट्रीब्यूट आर इरिलेवेंट टू क्लासीफाई द न्यू इंस्टर्स दैट इज ऑल्सो अनिदर इट इज अडवांटेज Uh, and one more disadvantage if the target concept depends on, on only the few of many available attributes when the instances are truly most similar may be uh, large distance apart actually uh, whenever it is uh, searching for the neighboring instances only which which are having the similar similar uh, patterns or similar type of instances are there in training examples actually it is uh, finding the uh, trying to similar whatever the available instances which are near to the new instance are not similar actually it is uh, there are some in a large set of training examples in a memory uh, it is somewhat little bit uh, more distance at, at away there are similar pattern of uh, uh, training examples are there which are uh, to the new training new query or new instance which is given to the method but here it is using the neighboring techniques whenever it is using the neighboring technique by that it is not finding exactly similar instance which are already stored in memory because it is distance away from the new query distance away from the new query that is also one one more disadvantage so in next class we are going to learn about the key nearest neighbor learning which is first one type first type of approach in uh, to achieve the instance based learning so by this i am closing this video today uh, in this video we know about the basic introduction what are the different approaches are there to achieve the instance based learning and what are the advantages what are the disadvantages are there we'll meet in the next video thank you